Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing something a little different. My husband is going to be making some sugar scrubs for you guys today and I filmed the entire thing. So sit back and enjoy the show. So Kale has all of his equipment over here, all sanitized and his jars are ready. What kind of sugar scrub are you making? Did you already say it? I don't remember. Uh, I just said raspberry vanilla, but they're oh. foaming sugar scrubs. Foaming sugar scrubs. I don't listen very well, so that's why he has to repeat things sometimes to me. <laughs> and these are our ingredients. You got some organic cane sugar, jojoba oil, hemp oil, some glycerin, and uh, oh yeah, the most important thing. The most important ingredient is our foaming bath butter base that we make in house from scratch. Yep. Kill has to learn how to make that because he does most of the scrubs. See, I do a lot of the production, but Kale has really taken over um, scrubs in our house. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I like making these scrubs. Yeah? <laughs> Which one is your favorite, would you say, that you make? Smell-wise, or that I like to make the most? I would say probably rosemary mint, because it's a nice bright green, it's only one color. This one today, <laughs> we gotta combine two colors, so it's an extra step in the process. Yeah. Yeah, I, I normally don't watch him when he does this, so I was like, why do you need four spoons? But apparently it's one spoon per color. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. We use two different size jars, too, so the big spoons easily get the product into the big jar, small ones for the small jars. That's good thinking. So Kale just put the foaming bath butter base into the KitchenAid mixing bowl and we are about to whip all of that up so that's nice and fluffy. Here's Kale adding the magic ingredient. Look how green that hemp oil is. Oh, it's so beautiful. So earthy. So thick. The glycerin kind of, you'll find like wads of it <laughs> stuck to the glass in there. Yeah, it you just, gotta really scrape it out, it huh? It binds up. Bind up. And 
then once you think you have it all out of here, I go back to the scale and make sure that it's at zero. In there. So I'll make sure it's all out of there. When are these ingredients going to bind up? Bind up. Bind <laughs> up. Now we're going for 30 grams of hot oil. And I don't add this to the blister in the hemp just because it's such a new bottle. Um, and it kind of comes out inconsistently and I spill it. So if you <laughs> go over, then. <laughs> No big deal. And when he spills it, I, I get cranky with him. So. See what I mean though? It's because like. Yeah. Oh. It just, it's so thin. It's almost like water, would you say? Yep. And see, then I overshot it. So. Back in the jug it goes. And the jojoba oil goes in. And again, because that glycerin's in there, it likes to glob up yeah. on the glass. And now we're measuring out the fragrance oil, which is one of my favorites, raspberry vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's a classic, isn't it? It's classic. Yeah, it's just it's got the sweetness of raspberries and the warmness of vanilla. You got the best of both worlds, I'd say. And it is two-tone, so it does end up looking fantastic. It does, yeah. A lot yeah. of people at markets think it's uh, like a small jar of cotton candy, because it'll be... Yeah, they they do? Blue and pink, yeah. At markets, that's what the little kids say. They say, oh, cotton candy. Do they ask you if they can eat it? Um, I don't think they ask. It's already in a jar, but a lot of people ask if you can eat the soup. It's not gonna kill you, but it just won't taste very good. Kale's in a, a good mood tonight because the Seahawks just won. Seahawks? Kale's originally from Seattle, and so even though we're in Midland, Ontario, Canada, we are still rooting for the Seahawks all the way over here in our corner of the world. They squeaked one out they against did. Dallas. They really should not have deserved to win that game. Yeah, they didn't play the best, but they got a win out of it. And here's Kale with the sugar. And with this you need 1,200 grams, and I don't really want to use a vessel that can hold 1,200 grams. It's heavy. I mean, yeah, it's a lot. Heavy, so I go... 600 and 600, or sometimes like I just went over 600, so I'll go 700 and <laughs> 500 because math. Yes. What's next now? Adding the colors. 
these are the colors for today. Pink and blue. These are definitely cotton candy colors. Now we're just going to get all of that sugar scrub, sugar scrub from the KitchenAid bowl into this other bowl so that we can put them up and color them with two different colors, right? Yep, and we kind of go not quite half and half. We want, typically we like the scrubs to be a little more blue than pink. I'll have kind of the pink in the middle, so it's like, I don't know, 65%, 35%, I would say. Okay. Kale's gonna put this blue color in. We got about 65% of our product in, back in the mixing bowl. We got this going in. Let's see where it goes from there. Kale did a market today. Um, it was the market that we have in our town, so it was. It's one of our favorite markets to go to. Would you say, Kale? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it just seems like there's more support there. Probably because we are local. Everyone, there's more people that know us. Yeah. Um, and it's still very, very busy for a late September uh, market day. Oh yeah. Do you remember the very first market we had with this farmer's market and how much money we made? <laughs> yeah, do we want to say that on camera? I, I mean, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with with admitting that. I yeah. mean, was it like a $45 day? It was, I think it was like 30. 30? Yeah. <laughs> and it cost us $20 to be there. But we stuck it out and we now make a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah. But it just goes to show how you gotta be persistent, huh? And stay with it, cause you never know. Yep, and be available to those customers. Look at that beautiful blue color. Wow. Oh, it does look like cotton candy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that evil laugh? <laughs> it's cause it just looks good. Mm-hmm. Once in a blue moon, I would say. Um, I don't think I'm a fan of cotton candy. Yeah, definitely not. It's too sweet. Snack to eat on the regular or even weekly or monthly. <laughs> but like, you know, it's a carnival thing. At a baseball game, at a Mariners game or a Blue Jays game, you know. I yeah. Could have, I could have a handful or two. I'd rather have a hot dog or popcorn. Yep. Some hot peanuts or pistachios. Hot peanuts? Yeah. They sell them hot at baseball games. Okay. So they like, just, they heat up peanuts? Wait, okay, wait. Yep. Are they wet as well? Like, are they? 
Uh, Moist? I think, I think they're uh, like roasted in oil. Yeah, for sure. Probably probably some peanut oil. Yeah. Okay, it's not what I'm thinking about because my mom would um, boil peanuts and that's what we would eat sometimes. Mm. That's really good. I've always wanted to get a bag of peanuts at the Asian market so that we can boil them and I wanted, I wanted you to try that. But we haven't done that yet. But we should. It's quite tasty. Yeah, at the baseball games, they sell them in aluminum foil, and it's always funny to see like the vendor, you know, going behind the back and doing hook shots. <laughs> Sometimes people drop them and they explode and go to work. <laughs> no. And now we're doing the pink side of things. My favorite color. <laughs> So for coloring these sugar scrubs, we use um, mica, which is safe for your skin. And it does an excellent job of really giving these sugar scrubs a beautiful pop of color, would you say? Definitely. They really stand out. Yeah. Yep. We do find that our super colorful products get a lot of attention at the markets and um, They've really helped us selling online too. Uh, our raspberry vanilla sugar scrub set is our best seller on our Etsy. Yep, the online. People really are drawn to the blue and pink combo, I'd say. Would you say? Yeah, I think so. So we got our pink, and we got our blue, and Kale was saying he misjudged the amount for the pink. He usually prefers more on the pink side, so we're just going to have not as much pink for this batch, but it'll still work it'll out, still I think. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's big of a layer of pink in the middle. Yep. And then they're going to go in these jars right here. So how much product do you usually put in each jar? It is uh, at least six. Sometimes it uh, depends on the batch though. Sometimes it goes up to 6.3, 6.4, but always at least six ounces. At least what's on the label or a little bit more than that? Plop. <laughs> 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 so cute. <laughs> Oh, these are so fun to make, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. See how Kale has layered them here. We always try to go for like a layered dessert type of look and it just looks so cute, I think. Do you have a certain technique when you fill the jars? Just make sure all those little nooks and crannies are kind of Eliminated a lot of times if there are some extra bubbles, I'll give it a tap. Bang it down on a towel. That makes sense. So as to be careful not to crack the glass. And he has to fill these jars up, and then we're we're good on these guys, right? Mm-hmm.
Oh, these look so cute. Great color. Excellent color. We offer the sugar scrubs in uh, a mini size as well. So what we like to do with the leftover sugar scrubs that we have or sugar scrub product that we've got that is not enough to make a full jar, we like to just put it into a little mini jar and those sell pretty well on its own right, would you say? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Online too, we offer a mini A mini, package. mini three pack of this raspberry vanilla scrub. We have a lavender and a rosemary mint, and that set sells really well on Etsy. And then in the farmer's markets, um, when we meet new customers, if they're a little hesitant to pay full price for a big jar like this, oftentimes we'll be able to um, convert them into a sale by offering the, the little one which is um, not as expensive, obviously, and just like kind of like a trial size. So that's worked really well for us, too. Yep, big ones definitely sell more, but it's good to have these smaller options, too. Yeah. Otherwise, look at all that product that you would just waste. We are not a fan of wasting product. No. <laughs> These just look so good. I can't go get over it. One of our best, most beautiful products we offer, I think. It's so mini. So we managed to get 10 jars and a mini. And at this point, we're just gonna clean up the jars, lid them, and then we'll be done with these for the night. Good job, Kale. Thank you, Jericho. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> Thank you. And here's the mess. Um, we're gonna have to clean all this up and then we're gonna call it a night. Thanks everyone for watching our, what would you call this? Just kind of like a make stuff with us or make stuff with Kale because you did all of the making and I just I just filmed it. Um, but Which usually isn't the case, it's usually all. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys for watching and we're gonna try to make more videos, so stay tuned and we will see you again at the next one. Bye. <laughs>